Our last speaker of this wonderful event is Akim Steiner, administrator of the United Nations Development Program over three decades in different offices, different departments of the United Nations, a global leader of sustainable development, cooperation, and climate resilience. He has served um, over time and, of course, became an SDG advocate and preserves the impetus and the urgency of promoting a necessary evolution. He will be participating with a recorded message. But welcome him in your heart. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, 2020, which marks the 75th anniversary of the United Nations, is a year of unprecedented challenges for people and the planet. Global Human Development, a combination of the world's education, health and income, is set to decline this year for the first time in a generation. Currently, we lose forests that are bigger than the size of Denmark every year. And we have produced a world where 26 people own the same wealth as half of humanity. The COVID-19 pandemic has also exposed the deep flaws in societies from weak health systems to the lack of social protection. But it has not yet changed our future. We now have a chance to set a new course. That starts with molding a new regenerative economy to help ensure that capital flows to activities that reduce harm to our environment and enhance people's well-being and health. At present, we spend less than $100 billion per year on nature, about what we spend on pet food globally. We only need an additional $700 billion annually to achieve our ambitious goals for biodiversity for 2030. That is a fraction of the $5.2 trillion we spend on fossil fuel subsidies every year. The United Nations is helping to nudge the world in the right direction. Look to Mexico, which has become the first country in the world to issue a sovereign SDGs bond last month, a project supported by the United Nations Development Programme. $890 million has already been raised for initiatives that advance the sustainable development goals of Mexico. Or consider the lion's share, an innovative fund started in 2018 by UNDP with a range of private sector partners. It aims to raise over 100 million per year within the next five years to halt biodiversity loss and protect habitats by asking brands to contribute just half a percent of their media spend time as animals featured in their advertisements. These are just two examples of how the UN is working with our partners to create new ways to align investments with the SDGs. Now, we need to work together to ensure that post-COVID-19 economic and social recovery efforts are oriented towards green stimuli that accelerate biodiversity and ecosystem conservation. Indeed, the pandemic has also shown how fast the world can move when we have to. Industries retooled and rethought their production lines to produce vital health services almost overnight. Governments rapidly mobilized unprecedented finance to protect citizens against a clear and immediate threat. It gives me great hope that we can do the same for climate action and build upon our gains. At UNDP, for instance, we are supporting 114 countries to enhance their nationally determined contributions under our climate promise. We also need to unleash the full potential of powerful technology at our disposal, such as digital finance. For instance, a multi-million dollar solar farm could be financed through millions of small investments channeled through mobile apps, giving people dividends and the benefit of improved green infrastructure. It's already happening. I believe that if we can mobilize to flatten the curve of COVID-19 cases in literally weeks, then we can rapidly flatten and bend the emissions curve in time. Ultimately, these shifts are about creating a better life for everyone. To do this, we must go beyond per capita income, economic growth rates and GDP as crude measurements of development and human well-being and indeed planetary well-being. At UNDP, we have been looking beyond GDP for 30 years. We use a human development approach. It is about expanding the richness of human life rather than simply the richness of the economy in which human beings live. It is an approach that is focused on people and broadening their opportunities and choices, freedom. Our upcoming 2020 Human Development Report will focus on how to rekindle our relationship with nature and improve people's lives today and in the future 
in balance with the planet. In the wider sense, we must embark on a new pathway so that in 10 years we can look back on the 2020s as a decade of positive transformation. We have the technology, the finance and the ingenuity to deal with the climate crisis. And we have a plan, the Paris Agreement. As we approach the fifth anniversary of this agreement, the public and private sectors must keep their promises. And we must go further. To tackle the climate emergency head on, post-pandemic recovery plans need to trigger long-term systemic shifts that will change the trajectory of carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere. Indeed, we are starting to see the emergence of collective will by governments, philanthropists, businesses, financial institutions, communities and civil society to realize precisely this greener future. At UNDP, we want to share our models and best practices with both the private and public sector in Italy and abroad. Together, we can help the world not only to merely recover, but to build forward better towards a much brighter and more sustainable future. Thank you for sharing a few minutes with me and allowing me to speak to you here today. Thank you.